diagnose myself with it. The first time we see Kane and Noma, they're getting ready for this wedding. And I ain't gonna lie, Noma looking good, man. You know I like me some chocolate. Yeah, you know I man. Chocolate. It be the middle of the night. Mo, what you doing? Shit, in the bed eating some chocolate. I had me a crunch bar today. Ooh, wait. Break me off a piece of that. No, that's a Kit Kat bar. Where's Crunch? I don't think Crunch got a theme song. But you know I love me some chocolate. But they getting ready for the wedding. And the thing about Kane is Kane is starting to believe that this wedding is a real deal wedding. I mean, I got a fucking mosquito in here. Kane's starting to believe that this is a real wedding. Hey, y'all coming to my wedding? Man, I got to make sure this stuff is perfect. And I'm thinking the same thing y'all thinking. Like, hey, Kane. This is business, brother. This is business. No man ain't marrying you to marry you. Why is Cain believing that him and Noma about to really be like a power couple? He think Cain thinks that him and Noma are about to be Diddy and Young Miami. He talking about my wedding. He telling, well, we ain't got to Effie because we on his perspective. But right now he texting people, hey, what's going on? He texts his cousins, hey, man, you coming to my wedding? If I'm getting married for business, man, my cousins ain't going to know that. My cousins ain't going to know that. Hell, when I got married the first time in real life, my cousins ain't know that. What I'm about to, we got to send invites. Who you want to send invites? I'm like, man, you can send an invite to my mom and my sisters. I'm not about to send no invites to all the niggas I know. Niggas don't need to know that I'm married. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, man, congratulations. Dude. Like, shut the fuck up, nigga. You don't mean that shit. But yeah, Kane thinking that this is a real wedding. He's man, y'all coming to the wedding, man. The colors is uh well, I'm gonna be wearing black and gold, but I want y'all to just wear like you know what I'm saying, just straight black. But Kane, this ain't a real wedding, man. No one's gonna be giving that thing to Mo Davis and all kinds of other niggas that got connections. But Kane's like, man, fuck this, man. It's the real deal. It's the real deal. Now I know they gotta make it believable for ice. There might be eyes on them, but shit, man, can't no one tell you it's a fake marriage. You know what I mean? I know people married right now that have been married for like 10, 15 years, and them niggas hate each other. They still live together. I go over there. She goes, what up, Mo? I'm like, damn, why are you talking to me like that? Because you mad at this nigga, man. You, well, what I do? I just came over. He even texted me and told me that you said, can I pick up something? Because he didn't feel like getting it. So I'm like, all right, I pick it up. I'm on the way over there. You know, I'm a nice house guest. If you need me to pick something on the way over, I always bring a bottle. Whenever I go to somebody's house, I always bring them a bottle. Now it's a bottle of something that I like to drink because <laughs> we about to crack that mother up with right now. You know what I mean? But I come through. I got a bottle of Remy or something on your boy. You keep one in the back just in case. You pull up somewhere, you might need a bottle or something to drink on. I got two bottles of Remy in the trunk right now. But they for tomorrow, though. You got to be prepared. But Kane thinks that this wedding is real. He's sitting around, man. Y'all coming to the wedding? Everybody, like, man, fuck that wedding, Kane. <laughs> now, when we get to the house, we do get introduced to Noma's brother. I call him Brother Chin. Now, he ain't believing none of this bullshit. Now, Kane is over here talking to Anya. And let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all was noticing what I was noticing, but I was noticing what they were showing. And I said, damn, okay. At first, I thought Anya was just a little junkie. Now, you know, on my channel, once you get on that stuff, once a junkie, always a junkie. But I was thinking we might be able to make an exception for Anya. Now, we're going to try to get at Noma because you know a little of that chocolate, but I didn't want to disrespect Kane. So I was like, all right, well. What is Anya doing? Like, does she need a date for this wedding? Because at first I wasn't going to go to the wedding, but now I, like, I am going to go to the wedding because, you know, sometimes you're going to pop out on the show. Now, Brother Chin is looking like, hmm, something is off with Kane. And he's peeping how him and Anya are kind of talking. Now, Anya, she's feeling Kane. You know what I'm saying? She's feeling Kane. You can sense the, you can sense it. You know what I'm saying? You can. Damn, okay, she's feeling your boy. You know what I mean? I told y'all last week, man, I seen this beautiful woman. I dropped the balls with my parents, though. I should have jogged over there like a, a 1990s movie video or did the Chris Brown. I said, yo, I don't know your name, but excuse me, miss. 
but I ain't do nothing. We just smiled at each other and kept it moving, man. We'll probably never see each other ever again in life. But Kane is over here. He's talking to Anya. And the last time that they had a conversation, it was in the penthouse. And Kane was talking about, yeah, I own this place. This is on me. You know what I mean? I did this. I work at the bar. I got big money. I, this is so. This, if we're being honest, this is this is a light. This is a light condo. This is what two point three mil. This ain't nothing. This 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 is easy money. This is light money. Like ain't nobody really tripping off of this. Like two point three mil. It ain't. I was gonna get the five million dollar condo, but I was like, man, fuck it. I'm just gonna get the little, just get the little penthouse on the thirty second floor. You know, nothing too big. Just just enough. Just some. Something modest, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever want to forget where I'm from. So it's just 2.3 mil. So Kane is popping his shit, you know, pause on that. But Kane is talking that talk. Sometimes you got to overinflate your assets. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like what Trump did, you know? Sometimes I got to say it's worth 3 million when it's really like worth 1 million. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got you to gotta flex a little bit. So we know that Anya's been peeping Kane. And then she heard all that money that my, my dog is getting. But the family shows up, and this is where things go bad for Kane. Because Monet, she already been playing them off. She already been playing them off. Drew came in and got straight to the drink. So you already know what type of time it is when this family gets to the dinner table. Now, Kane's been trying to hold it down. But Brother Chin starts asking the question, like, hey, what are you doing, brother? Like, what part of the business are you in? Who you with? Who you with? Who you with? Get crunk. Who you with? And Kane is like, oh, I just do the family business. Uh, that's how I got this condo. And they're like, wait, how, how, this is your condo? And then Monet calls him out. Monet calls him out. Like, wait a minute. This ain't your condo. This ain't your penthouse. This is my penthouse. Now, Monet talking like, Monet talking cash money like she didn't bought the condo. Like, wait a minute now, Monet. You got this because of what, what, what allegedly happened. Now, I'm not going to get into details with these folks, but it ain't like you was over here just balling like that because we had a million dollars you couldn't even touch. I remember we were struggling. We came up from nothing. Every day we lit now because of me. My name is Kane Tejada, big dog status. Ball in the mall with my brothers. Go yard bag for the cutters. Got it out the field, fuck Russell. So Kane is in here talking big shit, but he getting called out. Oh, no, this was Dante. You know Dante? And the brother Chin's like, yeah, I know Dante. Kane's like, oh, damn, here we go. Hey, 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 Diana, chill, 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 please. Drew's like, oh, yeah, you did kick me out of here. Monet said, kick somebody out. This is my house. So Kane's like, fuck. And you know, when the spotlight is on you, you start sweating and shit. Well, Kane already got this damn wool on. So he's already hot. Like me, before I go out, I can't put my shirt on until it's like we hit the door. So I got to be sitting in my wife beater because I sweat easily. So when we chilling around pregame, I ain't going to have my shirt on. I'm going to have a white beater on, but I, I sweat too easily. I might sweat my shirt out. So Kane in here with wool on. You can't wear a T-shirt up under this wool, but you got to wear some kind of undershirt because you don't want that wool on your body. Wool on your body get itchy. Trust me, I know. So Kane is over here. He's sweating like, God damn, and they calling me out. So then when they get onto the whole Dante situation, we know about Dante. Dante is Zeke's father. I ain't lying, you did. You ain't lying. I mean, I'm broke and she don't like revelation. Well, I ain't lying, you did. Zeke, they for sure had somebody born in 97. You're not 21, you're 23. This is not your auntie, it's your mom. Once they get on to Dante, Mo, uh, Noma's like, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, Anya, you get the dishes. Kane's like, Diana, help out, please, help out. Anya talk about, I'm not helping out. We got the help right here. Diana, like, who you calling the help? I'm like, oh, my goodness. We can't have one just friendly dinner. We can't just all sit down and get along. This shit was getting out of control. Everybody going off on everybody. Kane, he nervous. Noma, she nervous. And we find out that Noma doesn't even run the business. This is when we're looking at Noma. Everyone turned to Noma like, Drew over there. Hmm. Now y'all wonder why I work with Darren Carter. Noma don't even run the business. It's a family business. And they pappy is still alive. So if it's a family business, that means the dad is at the top. And remember, Brother Chin said, I'm glad Pops didn't fly over here for this shit. So maybe Noma can get out of here. 
and we'll get like a, a UK slash African power. Because it sounds like they doing big things over in Africa, and now they got Africa and Europe. I said, okay. Okay, this is getting good here. I'm sitting, so y'all ain't know. If you if you watch closely in the back, I'm trying to see if I can get an angle of it. If you watch, if you watch closely in the back, in this scene right here, when they pan over, if you look closely over here, you're gonna see a nigga like this. That's me. I was in this scene, so I'm watching it all, and I'm here, and I'm like, wait a minute. This whole time, four seasons, no, not four seasons, two seasons, Mo has been saying he don't really know if Noma is like that, only to find out in episode nine that Noma ain't like that. Noma is just a small piece to the bigger puzzle. Well, I be damn. Just yesterday, I was asking who was a bigger disappointment, Monet or Noma, and I was saying Noma to me. I thought Noma was big time. Turned out Noma ain't big time. Noma is no better than old girl working for goddamn the Flynn family. She's just the sister in the organization. She the little sister. She the little pup. She got the. She a designer puppy. She ain't no pit bull. She a little snickerdoodle. That's all she is. She the little poodle. She the little pup. I said, what? Be damn. Noma ain't even really like that. Noma just here. I said, oh my goodness. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Noma's just a little kid. So Kane goes in the back with his mom, and they finally had that conversation, that heart to heart. You know what I'm saying? Kane, you're a good kid. I really do love you. I'm glad to see you growing up. And Kane is just like us. We never heard Monet talk good to any of her kids. Uh, when they were little, she did support them a little bit, but then we seen how she was really treating them. They were really like drug mules. So Kane's like, Mom, say it again. Cause Every now and then, you do want acknowledgement from your parents. Like, according to, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to say what my parents used to say, but at one point in my life, I was like the dumbest Negro on earth, according to some people. I was like the dumbest mother effer on the planet. Remember, Alcat said the uh, the coldest mother effer was on the planet. I was once labeled the dumbest mother effer on the planet. I sure proved them wrong. I'm probably like the, I'm probably like the, was it 9 billion people on earth? I'm probably like the 250 million smart, smartest person on earth. I probably put myself in the top 250 million people. No, maybe, maybe 500. But yeah, we'll do five. I'm in the top 500 million around like the 490 million mark. But we'll just say top 500 million smartest people in the world. <laughs> but Kate is in here and he's like, Damn, ma, you know, I didn't really know you cared for me like that. I just, I want to make moves on my own finally. And she's like, I understand, Kane, and but you really can't trust Noma like that. He's like, listen, this is business. It's going to work out. Everything is going to work out for itself. And then Drew comes in. Are we interrupting anything? And Kane and Drew, no matter what, there's always going to be that rivalry. Like me and my, my younger brother, we have a real rivalry between the two of us. Like I love my brother. I was just talking to him earlier for like an hour while I was editing all of this stuff. But we got us a little, we competitive, but it's not to the competitive where we fight or anything. We did fight one time. When I first got out of the military, me and my brother fought. But it was just like probably like, probably like three minutes we probably fought. And then Shit, after that, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? We got some drink, and then shit just went on about life. Yeah, it's my brother. I love him. But uh, they ain't here arguing, and Drew is like, well, fuck all that, Kane. Bronze is here. And we're thinking, who the hell is Bronze? Because they brought up Bronze's name, and I'm thinking, uh, is this a nickname for, for like, for I, I don't even know who was a nickname, but they were just like, Bronze is here. So I'm like, all right, cool. And that's where Monet tells them, 
hey, go to the bar, enjoy your time, water down the drinks, overcharge people, and have a good time, but don't do anything I wouldn't do. My dog, why he hoop is in here. What up, Trill? So they go to the bar, and we find out that Bronze is actually Lil Dirk. Now, they in here kicking it. Now, this bachelor party is a little bit dry. You know, like, these two dudes coming over, man, this shit crazy, man. <laughs> man, this shit crazy, man. Some freaks out here. The freaks come out at night. No, they playing. He don't like me, but it men love me. Got kicked out the house at 14, but I'm still thugging. He don't like me, but it men love me. <laughs> that busy water, baby. Yeah. You got that D-Lo, that boss man D-Lo playing back there. The girls is going crazy in here. He must be your ad, but it ain't your face. I need a tip drill. I need a tip drill. They throwing money in the air, but they don't give a look up for a tip drill. I need a tip drill. If you go back, Bronze is Janet's son. Okay, so Bronze is Janet's son. I remember she said Bronze came up here, but I was thinking the whole time, who the fuck is Bronze? But then we get introduced to Bronze in Bronze's little dirt. They in here, but if you go back and listen to Tip Drill, I know we getting sidetracked, but that's just how my mind works. If you go back and listen to Tip Drill, the girls at the end are saying, it must be your money because it ain't your face. I need a Tip Drill. And then they say, you a funky ass nigga. You a Tip Drill. What the hell? You a funky ass nigga. You a Tip Drill. I wish a motherfucker would call me a tip drill and then ask and then expect me to throw some money. I'm taking my funky ass money home with me. I'm a funky nigga. This money funky, baby. Yeah. Go back and listen to the lyrics of Tip Drill, and the girls are going crazy at the end of that damn thing. It must be your money because it ain't your face. Okay. I can deal with that. Maybe I'm an ugly nigga today. But then she said, I know you a trick. Go spin that shit. You old, you funky ass. Damn, I'm a trick and a funky ass nigga. God damn, man. Just getting no respect in here. I was making it rain for a little bit. But they in here and they going crazy. And then we hear Kane, because this is Kane's perspective. Kane talking about, hey, hey, watch what y'all saying, man. Because Brian's talking about, wait a minute. Brian said, we got the biggest drug enterprise. Does Brian, is, does Brian and his crew have work down in Atlanta? Or is he talking about Kane getting married? I might have to go back and watch it with the captions. Is he talking about his crew in Atlanta having the biggest drug enterprise? Or are they talking about Kane marrying to Noma having the biggest drug enterprise? See, now I got to go back. Give me a second. I know I know we on the clock, but I got to hear what they said. Did he say we got the largest or you got the largest? Smooth said ATL. That's what I thought he said. I thought he said we got the largest drug enterprise. And then that's when Kane said, hey, you got to watch what you're saying because you never know if the feds are listening, joking with Tariq. I mean, not Tariq, God, gee, joking with uh, Drew because Drew works with Don Carter. Give me one second. You know I'm going to find it. So Smooth is saying, he said, in Atlanta. Because I thought he said we got the largest drug enterprise. Uh, let me see. Fat Joe Talks is October 4th. So that's the day that the show ends. What's up? You feel me? I'm good, dog. I know it sounds good, but Kane, your shorty is a billionaire and she a baddie. You know what I'm saying? Can y'all believe this ish? 
a store with some real bread. Laughing. There's no one thing I don't like. Let me see. No one thing I don't. No one thing I don't feel. What's that? My uh, my cousin ain't even inviting me to the trope party. Come on, man. Get to the part, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Well, let me now put my stars on there because if they look at my account, they'd be like, hey, man, who is this? Was it 1833? When I say the biggest, I mean the biggest drug empire. Nigga, I'm gonna need you to. See, I think he's saying. The trap party. And we got the biggest. When I say the biggest, I mean the biggest drug empire. Nigga. See, is he talking about. Because he said right before he said, we got the biggest drug empire. He says, my cousin didn't even invite me to the trope party, like the trophy party. Like, hey, man, you didn't invite me to this shit. So I'm thinking that Bronze and Janet got their own little organization going on. Janet got money, not the same money that Monet was getting, but Bronze got some shit going down in Atlanta. The FBI. Yeah, this the FBI. Said, yeah, Kane said, man, don't be talking out loud. I'm going to need you. Okay, so we got a potential spin off down in Atlanta with Kane if Kane survives. So they having the party and Kane talking this shit. But then we see Brian's and his crew get into it with each other. So I'm I'm thinking, why would they be showing this unless they're trying to do something with like Kane down in Atlanta? Like, what would be the point of showing? Brian's getting into it with his people and having him pop up talking about they got the biggest drug, you know what I'm saying? Unless 50, 50 got something up his sleeve. And at this point, we really can't we really, we really can't hey yeah, I don't even know what I want to say, but we really we really can't doubt 50 Cent. An Atlanta spinoff would be good, even if they got one or two seasons out of it. It's going to be a lower budget recording down in Atlanta. 50 already said that his mentor for this new, uh, for the new studio is Tyler Perry. You could record at Tyler Perry shit or, you know, saying do your own, your own site recording like in Atlanta, but the rest of it doing Streetport. So, I mean, a, a down South spinoff would be good. Like a Kane spinoff. Even like I said, even if it is one or two seasons, it'd just be something to hold us over in between, like the origins. But anyway, they, they do all of this, and it's more of Drew and Diana talking. But Kane, he ends up talking to Effie. So when Effie shows up, Effie shows up is after Kane was clowning Drew and Diana, and Diana's talking about your mistress is here. Now, Effie, she's upset, and you know, this is like the perfect like. Whenever a, a woman gets upset with you, it always leads to good things. Like, if you ain't really fucking up, like, the thing is, Kane, he likes Effie, but he's treating this wedding like a real wedding. You got to tell Effie straight up, like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like, whatever me and you got going on is what me and you got going on. Fucking Noma, she doing her own thing. You know what I mean? No one doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Me and you, it is what it is. It's just strictly business with us. But they get to talking and she was like, can we, can we just go talk, Kane? Let me tell you, man. Here and can we talk? I'm like, man, no. Can we talk for a minute? No, we can't. But she's like, listen. I'm hearing bottom in them. They going up to Staten Island. Some shit popping off. Because remember, she's been reporting to Kane about a potential snitch and whatever is going on. But she's the one that tells him, 
hey, they're going to Staten Island. And then Diana and Drew, they hear it and they start piecing it together because Janet is on the phone with Diana telling her, we're trying to get in contact with Monet, but Monet didn't went to Staten Island. So everybody is just, you know, saying cross communicating. But from here, Kane and Effie, they actually leave and they go to the room and they get it on. Now, I thought they were going to the back room, but they actually went to like, I think her dorm room. So they go back to the room and they getting it on. I told you whenever somebody's in trouble, whenever your life is in danger, whenever you owe a nigga some money, what do you do? You go and get some cutty because don't nothing take your mind off of your problems, but some cutty and some good. Mary J. Hey. I got money, 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 money. And then your third option is some yak. But Kane's over here like, listen, Effie, you want to go to California, Stanford, and build robots and shit? That's your dream. I don't knock your dream. I want to keep you close to me, but I understand you got, you got your wants and needs, and that's what you've been dreaming about. But you know what my dream is? My dream is to be Bumpy Johnson. My dream is to be a snitch like Frank Lucas. My my dream is to to snitch like Nikki Barnes did. My my dream is to be a big term drug dealer, to be old and gray, and have a legacy. Effie said, but what happened to him? He said they were immortalized. Yeah, they went to jail, but they still got out. They did some interviews. 40 years in prison ain't that bad. I can do an easy 40. I did 40 on the outside. I could do 40 on the inside. He said, Effie, I just want to be real with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. She says, it's all I want, Kane. He's like, my dreams are the dope, Kane. My dreams are laying the foundation. Then I built the house, and it was mixtape after mixtape. And the next thing you know, I was running the South. So Kane is letting her know that he has dreams bigger than some college education. He has dreams bigger than going to California. Yay. He wants to be the biggest fucking dope dealer New York City has ever seen since James St. Patrick. Now, it's either you get down with it or you leave it alone. But Effie, she gets up and she runs to the bathroom. Oh, my God. Why? Why did I just let him smash raw? Why? Why? Why did I just let this dope dealer who doesn't have a clue? But this ain't Effie's story. We don't give a damn. So Kane is looking at her like, man, what the hell? What's wrong, man? If you ever had a girl like go to the bathroom and she was crying over some shit you told her? Like, God damn, what the fuck is this on my ear, man? Like I told you, I had this one woman. Some kids broke the back of her car, like the, the back window with like a golf club. She's like crying about it. I'm looking at her like, why are you like, why are you crying about this? And she, she like crying on me. I'm like, hey man, you kind of got down sogging up my shirt. I'm like, what are you crying for? Like, just call the insurance and get this shit fixed. I'm like, damn, what are you crying for, man? I hated that shit. But Effie went into the bathroom. She stormed off. She slid down the wall. And Kane is just sitting there like. All you can do in a in a moment like this is just like get on your phone and like get on Instagram or something. You know what I mean? Like. You just get on your phone and get on Instagram. <laughs> but she runs off. Hey, I'm being being real like, man. Like, damn, the fuck crying for me. Get off my shirt. Do that shit somewhere else. So the next time we see Kate isn't to the actual wedding. So they have a, this is a nice wedding, though. Very nice wedding. Drew and Diana trying to get in with that Thule, but they couldn't get in. Kane is sitting up here. Noma comes through. Here comes the bride, all dressed in white. The whole time Kane was with Effie, she was with God darn Davis getting that thing worn out. Now, Anya's looking like, man, what the hell is going on here? Big Rock. 
Big Rock, too. Ain't nothing better than black love, man. Ain't nothing better than black love. Effie gonna be pregnant next. Yeah, Effie gonna be pregnant when she go out to Stanford. But from there, at the reception, no one's asking Kane, are you with us or are you against us? Everybody out here, he's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, nigga, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your mama's trying to play us. Kane's like, what? She said, don't make a scene. Your cousin, your brother and sister, they're out of here. It's just you and me. It's just you and me now. And then the brother starts making it rain. He, brother Chin started making it rain. He told Kane straight up, slow your roll, partner. Slow your roll, partner. Slow your roll, nigga. Slow your roll. Kane looking around like, what the hell is going on? They didn't kidnap Kane. They got Kane down here. Look at this, man. If Kane can't get out of this, it's something wrong, man. Kane couldn't get out of this. All you got to do is just drop your shoulder a little bit. All you got to do is really just slide down in the chair. If you're going to tie somebody up, what you want to do, you don't want to just tie around their upper uh their upper body. What you want to do is go over the shoulder. You want to go across the body, around the back, but through the chair. You want to go through the chair and then up and down on the other side and then go through the chair on the other side. So that way you can't move your body around. This guy's tiring Kane up like, oh, yeah, we got you good, brother. So Kane's in here. Let me go, man. What the hell's going on here? I'm going to say, listen, Kane. You're either with us or against us, Kane. Your mother has been bullshitting. Kane said, I'll never turn my back on my mom. We're blood. She said, oh, that's very interesting. But we're married now, Kane. And remember, when you get married, your wife comes before, before your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, and your children. Unless you're me. My family always comes first. But Kane's like, no, I'll never turn on my mom. She said, oh, Kane, you just made the wrong decision. Kane's like, man, fuck you guys. And then we know Monet ends up coming in here and Monet comes to save the day. When Monet kick in the door, look at this shit. Fuck you, Noma. Look at Noma's face. I thought Noma was about to. I thought Noma was about to peel his cap back. Are you okay? Free lunch, Freddie. What's happening? Welcome back. Thank you for the 20 peeps. That's 20.00. Tomorrow I'm going to this little event. You know I'm about to tear that 20 up. Remember in Power Tommy and Ghost kidnapped? They were kidnapped by Lobos. Yeah, and they was inside that building with the big ass windows. Hell yeah, you know why I do. And Lobos brought them to the hangar. That same hangar, Mecca used his planes and cars. Blanc and the feds gave it to him, snitching on Lobos. He told Tariq he knew he did off Ghost because Ghost is in the program. You are right about that. Uh, he was getting a lot of help from Blanca. And Blanca actually dropped the ball because she was supposed to convict Tariq and Monet because they were on the camera footage. But we never seen anything else about that. They dropped the ball. But look at Noma. The brother was like, man, I came all into the States to catch a body. I need a body. And I was thinking Noma was about to end it right here for Kane, man. I thought this was it. I thought they were about to get Kane. Cedric said it, kick in the door, waving the faux faux. But Monet kicking the door. Kane tied up, and you hear Noma talking about, oh, this is what you want, Monet? Shoot that nigga Kane. Kane is on the ground. Ma. Pow, pow. Choo, choo, choo. Oh, no. oh, shit. 
My goddamn leg. Back up. Get the man. It's going down, and Kane is just in here laying in the seat, tied up. Ma, no. Ma, no. Then who got the shotgun? Who got the shot? The damn. Diana, come here, my baby. I'm gonna avenge your death, ma. That's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna avenge your death, ma. Oh, Tommy Drew, what Tommy do? story that's what happened to Kane man damn damn man R.I.P. to Monet man it's just Ma! 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 Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Damn, they the guy came, man. Are you okay? Go well, that's Kane's story right there, man. What do y'all think about Kane, man? Is he gonna get even with Noma? I asked the question of who we believe is gonna take out Noma. Is Kane gonna do it? Kane did a good job, man. Kane needs to get an award for this, like. He did a good job. The acting was grade A right there. That's probably some of the best acting I've seen from this brother, Woody. Damn, so what, we had two hours? Then we had two hours. We only got two people there. Well, we, we all right. We all right. Fuck it. We all right. Hey, do y'all think? Y'all think Monet's alive? Y'all think Monet's alive? We ain't seen no funeral. Damn, Atrial. Atrial, if you look at if, if you watch it right now, Box Park is going crazy right now. Box Park is wild right now, brother. Damn, I need to be out in the UK, man. <laughs> 